Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is RJ and today I'm going to be showing you guys another Java fix for Minecraft. Minecraft has now released version 1.19 and it is packed with new features that you might want to enjoy with friends. However, Minecraft has updated the version of Java required to run 1.19 servers. So today I'm going to be showing you how to update Java and fix this error. So what I've done is I've created a new folder here on the desktop and if we open it up, all it has is a copied uh, 1.16 Minecraft server. So I just, I just copied one over just to show you guys this error. So this is going to force it to run on 1.16, which will give this error right here. This error is a linkage error. It'll say linkage error occurred while loading main class net.minecraft.bundler.main. And it says that it takes a Java runtime class file version 61 to run this version of Java, but the only one installed is version 60. So what this is saying is that you need to update your Java runtime environment. Well, how do we do that? Very, very easy. So the first thing we're going to do is you're gonna follow the link down in the description and it's going to take you to this page right here. So this is the official Oracle uh, or Oracle, however you wanna say it. Um, this is their official website. And as you can see, Java 18 and 17 are now available. So whenever Minecraft 1.19 launched, they said, all right, we're gonna port this over to Java 17 or newer. So today we're gonna to be installing Java 18. So if we scroll down, you can see you have your choice between Java 18 and Java 17. I'm gonna choose Java 18. I've already tested this, it works, it fixes the issue, and it's a newer version of Java. So I'm gonna go ahead and run on Java 18. One thing you wanna check is make sure that you are not on Linux or Mac OS. If you are running on those systems, make sure you choose those. But for the vast majority of us, we're gonna be wanting the Windows installation. And you have three options. You have a compressed archive, an installer, and an MSI installer. I recommend going with the middle one, the just x64 installer. And I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And as you can see, it's gonna start downloading down here in the lower left. Um, whenever this, if this does an error at any time and says that it might be harmful, just go ahead and click allow or continue downloading or something along those lines. Sometimes Google Chrome and different web browsers throw some errors whenever downloading .exes or .jar files, different things like that. So if you get that error, just go ahead and tell it to continue downloading. Once it downloads, it'll look like this. You can just press it and it'll pop up and ask if you want to run it with, uh, it'll, it'll have to make changes to your device. So you'll need administrative privileges. Once you click OK, you will get this little screen right here. And it says this wizard will guide you through the installation process for the Java SE development kit 18.0.1.1. So we're gonna click next. It's going to say where it's going to install it to. So that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. And it's going to go ahead and install Java for us. All right, it says Java SE development kit 18.0.1.1 has been successfully installed. We're going to go ahead and click close, minimize this. So now what we can do is we can remove Java 16 from here. We need to edit our bat file to just use Java. Now if we run it, it's going to give us a bunch of uh, information as it runs the Minecraft server. As you can see, it's up and running, doing what it should. Here is it is preparing the spawn area. So the world is loading in, the server is starting up. All right, and now it says the time is done. It took uh, 47, uh, pretty much 48 seconds to run that. Uh, it was the first time running that uh, on 1. Dot, or 1 1.19. It's the first time running it on uh, Java 18. So there you guys have it. That is how you update your Java to Java version 18 and run Minecraft servers 1.19 and newer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, give it a thumbs down and tell me in the comments uh, what I can do better and I'll try to improve for next time. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss an upload.
thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.